Aloha headsets, Frank here and it's time for your daily update. First up, if you play Eve Valkyrie or if you haven't played it already, this week is the perfect week to jump in. They're offering double XP from March 28th to April 4th. Next up, Guitar Gods VR is trying to bring the feel of Rock Band over to PlayStation VR as well. If you want to check them out, they're on Kickstarter. They got about 10 days left to raise around $490,000, so I highly doubt it's going to get there, but every person helps. Syndrome is coming to PlayStation VR. Yes, what originally started as an Oculus game is now finding a home on our PSVR. It is a science fiction horror game where the enemies will be able to hear and see you, so be careful. And it's coming out on April 28th. We had a couple releases yesterday. First up, Faded, and this was more of a tech demo. The eye tracking was cool, the environments were nice, but the story was not that great and the dialogue was terrible. The pacing really, really got to me. I would have much rather spent my time playing Corix, which came out yesterday, from Stella VR, which is the new RTS tower defense game that I have completely fallen in love with. Next up, if you live in the UK and you haven't gotten your hands on a PSVR yet, now may be the perfect time. Argos is offering one for $349. And if you live in the US and you haven't gotten the PSVR yet, Monoprice is offering one for $379.99. So, if you want to save a little bit of money, now's the perfect time. Now, the next part of the news show might be a little controversial, but I care about it and I hope that you care about it too. I am always going to be PlayStation VR. That will be the main focus of this channel, but I do hope one day to expand to include everybody because most of the games coming to Vive and Rift are coming to us as well. Look, we're even getting Syndrome, which was supposed to be a Rift game, but we're getting it first. So this last part of the news and the end of the news from now on will be dedicated to the Rift and the Vive. It'll be very, very short. I mean, not super short, but there's gonna just be a little information. So if you don't care about it, just skip it. After that, I'll have a couple Ask Frank questions. So if you want, just skip this, jump to the Ask Frank, and that's it. But I really think this is pretty cool information. And if you're interested in VR and helping to grow this community, I think you should be interested in this as well. First up, the Oculus has been around for a year and they are celebrating with some wonderful deals. You can get $200 off the Rift Plus Touch controllers, which is a great deal, not to mention the wonderful sales going on in the Microsoft Store right now for the anniversary. Oculus also has a new head of hardware. Yes, the 15-year Apple vet Mike Hillman has joined the team, so I think they'll probably have some wonderful stuff in the works coming soon. Next up, Twisted Arrow was released for the Oculus and Vive, and guess what? It's another first-person bow shooter. I know you haven't gotten enough of those. On sale for 15 bucks right now, but eventually it's gonna be 20, so if you're interested in something like this, go grab it right now. Next up, HTC plans to have 10,000 applications on Vive for by the end of 2017. I'm not sure how many of those are going to be quality titles, but I guess if quantity over quality is your thing, then hop on over there. Last up, Amazon has a wonderful Vive bundle, which for $840 includes a GTX 1060. All right, now that that's out of the way, we can jump back to everybody's favorite, as Frank. First up, Surge Gaming wants to know, Frank, PSVR or Switch? Surged, I'm lucky enough to have both, and I think that if you can, try to get both. It's like apples and oranges. There are games on my PlayStation VR that will never be on the Switch, and there are games on the Switch that will never be on the PlayStation VR, and that's just the way it's gonna go. So if you have the option, grab both of them. Next up, Matt Rappaport wants to know, hey, can we buy Ancient Emulator yet? I love that demo, I can't get enough. You know what, Matt? I can't wait either, and I keep hearing wonderful praise from everybody, but we're gonna have to wait a couple more months. They want to get this game as tight as can be, and I am cool with that. Next up, DictatorX500 wants to know, hey, will Fantastic Contraption be good on the PlayStation VR? Dictator, I have been assured from people that worked on the game that it will be amazing. No, we're not gonna have the map editors, and we won't be able to stand over the full-size items, but we're still gonna have all the levels and still gonna get to do everything, so it's gonna be a good time. Finally, Max Boss wants to know, is there a community for PlayStation VR users? Well, Max, lucky for you, I set up a community on PS4 that is thriving with wonderful players that love meeting up with other players. 
It is PSVR Frank in the headsets. And if you search through the communities, you will find it. Anytime that I can play with you guys, I'm gonna post in there first. So always check it out. Now, that's it for today. If you enjoyed it, if you, if you want, always if you want, hit that thumbs up button. And more importantly, if you, I mean you, want to stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR, and you don't mind this ugly mug, friggin' subscribe! I mean, come on! Nah.